Introducing Uber Teen Accounts, an Uber account for your teen with always-on enhanced safety features. Your teen can request a ride when you can't take them. You'll get real-time notifications along the way. Your teen can feel a sense of independence. You can follow their entire route on a live tracking map. Your teen will get assigned the top-rated drivers. Thank you. You will get peace of mind. Add your teen to your Uber account today. Available in select locations. See app for details. The legends are true. But overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Donald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10-piece nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra-powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Ready to celebrate International Women's Day? M&M's and iHeart present Women Take the Mic, sharing empowering stories of women supporting and celebrating each other. And of course, there is a smooth and creamy companion for your listening pleasure, peanut butter M&M's, because they're just another way to help treat yourself in situations where you deserve a little added delight, like listening to your favorite podcast. So savor the deliciousness of peanut butter M&M's and spread some positivity. From breaking glass ceilings to dominating in sports and entertainment, women truly are unstoppable. Taste the Mediterranean through March 19th at Whole Foods Market. Save on animal welfare certified bone-in beef short ribs, sustainable wild-caught sockeye salmon, and more. Find sales on Parmigiano-Reggiano, charcuterie and ground lamb. Grab an olive boule bread from the bakery. Plus, wines from the Mediterranean start at just $8.99. Taste the Mediterranean now at Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And sometimes in order to move forward in life, first, you have to look backwards. That's true, Jeff. It's kind of like a moonwalk in a way. Looking back, (laughs) but moving forward. In a really cool way. That's kind of the idea of this segment called Closure Calls, where if you haven't heard it before, we try to help a listener get some answers and hopefully peace of mind on an issue from their past that's been haunting them. Some of these get really deep, too, you know? Yeah, and recently one of our listeners asked for our assistance, getting some closure. Her name is Jody. I keep wanting you to do the hee-hee. <laughs> Jody wants to go full Michael Jackson today. So, Jody, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, Jody. We're all so interested in what brought you here. Yeah, what's going on in your life that made you reach out to us? Okay, um, it's so strange. So, my husband and I used to live in this amazing neighborhood. Absolutely oh. loved it. Um, oh, that's cool. That's nice. <laughs> yes, it was everything. And our next door neighbors, the Coopers, mm-hmm. they were like our best friends. Our oh. families, we did everything together. We had birthdays, barbecues, you know, we watched each other's pets when we went on vacation, Aww. everything. Brooke, how jealous are you of those neighbors? <laughs> yeah. No, I love my neighbors. I have the best neighbors, Wait, honestly. You, what, you, you literally really like have about? disputes with them all the time. No, no. Oh, you're, oh, tr- the tree neighbor. you're oh, trying you're trying to like buy their property out from them. You're talking about the guy with the abandoned cars right next to me. Yeah, yeah he's great too. That's I just brought him some homemade granola. <laughs> she doesn't consider him a neighbor at first. She's like, oh yeah, that's right. I, I have never a lot of the neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love that guy too. Okay. He's got two kids that live about an hour. You want to know more about him? No, no. Let's I fo- love my neighbors. Let's focus more on Jody and her neighbors, the Coopers. It's nice to have a family next door to you that you actually like. Yeah. Yeah, but here's where the twist comes. And it's unfortunate. We basically, our house burnt down. Oh, my oh gosh. No. Oh, no. Yeah. That's we crazy. lost absolutely everything. It was horrible. I'm so oh. sorry. That Wait. Is not what I saw coming Was next. it the Coopers that did it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So now we're asking them why? Yeah. <laughs> this is a really why bad closure burn call. Now, no. <laughs> No, they were like, they were really supportive, actually. They helped oh. us get through all of it. They helped us oh. put our life back together. But yeah, we couldn't afford to like stay and rebuild the house. So we were forced to move, which mm. we really did not want to because, again, oh. just love where we lived. You built oh all those God. relationships for so long. Dude, and all the memories. Yeah. And, you know, that's hard. That must be really hard. Yeah, it was awful. But we found a house like 45 minutes away from there. And, you know, we just, we had to do what we had to do. And we stayed in touch with them for a couple of months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then one day they just stopped responding. Like they wouldn't answer any of my phone calls. They stopped inviting us. Wait, did their house burn down too? 
Bruce no, 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 no. Right yeah. now. <laughs> No, that's weird. Sorry. Who's setting all the fires? Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? They yeah. they stopped answering you? Yeah, they stopped answering. Like, what? you know, I tried multiple times. No explanation at all. You know, just completely cut off communication. And Really? Oh. For you and your husband? Like, they have zero contact? Yeah, zero. It's so strange. That is really Whoa. weird. What, what was going through your mind when that started happening? I, we did not know. We went over this so many times. And, like, I understand, like, we don't live next door to them anymore, but... Yeah. I mean, why, why completely cut us out, you know, like, yeah. and they're still living there in that same neighborhood and everything. Okay. So I was curious. I was like, well, maybe they moved, you know, like yeah. mm-hmm. maybe something happened to them. Yeah. So I think a year and a half after I decided to drive back, you know, to see if they even still live there. And I, I didn't ring the doorbell or anything, but their car was in the driveway. Whoa. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. So they're still around in the same house, at least, but for some reason, totally cut all communication with your family. Yes, it's so strange. And it's been over four years. And the thing is, is that I still think about it. Like, I just wish we could get some of that old friendship back, you know? Yeah. It would be really great to reconnect our children again and all that. But it's just something that, like, lingers in my mind. Oh, my God. Mm. Well, and, like, even for me, like, I grew up in the same house my whole life. And our neighbors growing up are like second family. Yeah. Mm. I mean, honestly. You guys marry each other, too. It's kind of weird. (laughs) But is there any, like, drama between your families in that time? Like a fight or something? A fight or maybe an affair that you had with someone in that house? Casually drop that one. I didn't think about something like that. No, absolutely no. Okay, at least not that you're going to admit to. Okay. (laughs) Do you think your kid may have done something? Like, you know, because sometimes, like, if kids fight or... It can cause mm, yeah. parents to fight. Yeah, or like the kid will be like, well, my mom said this. About, mm-hmm. And it's like playing telephone. They say totally. it wrong. I mean, sure. That's a possibility. It's one of those things where like we have as a family all sat down multiple times at dinner and talked about this. Like, huh. hey, does anyone have any idea of why this yeah. could be happening? And everyone is like, no. Yeah. Why do the Coopers hate you? <laughs> I would say maybe they, and this is going to come out wrong, so I apologize. Maybe they think they're better than you. Like, oh, oh we don't talk to them because they moved out of the neighborhood. But then I go, you've known oh. them for so long. You would know if they were shallow like See, that. See, I was thinking yeah. the opposite, where maybe they're jealous. Maybe your oh, new situation is something better. they've always wanted. Right. Well, probably not about status. It's, pr- I mean, they just moved. It's I know. Not Brooke like won't a... talk to us because of where we live that sometimes. We're not true. allowed over on her fancy yeah. island. Yeah. <laughs> but Jody, you know how this works. You've already worked with our producer to come up with the four questions, and we've told you the Coopers have responded. Oh, my God. I forgot how this works. Are you nervous about hearing from them after how long has it been now? It's been over four years. Wow. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm I'm curious more than anything. It seems like this could be something resolved. I mean, totally. maybe if they explain, then the, you two can come to some understanding yeah. and, and rebuild this friendship. I agree with Brooke. I do think if it was one of the kids especially, it's like, yeah. no, 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 this is a misunderstanding. Yeah, just get rid of that kid, and then everything's <laughs> fixed. So we're going to do it. We'll read the answers from your neighbors that ghosted your family five years ago oh when we do your closure call right after this. <laughs> For just joining us, we're in the middle of a closure call, mm. and it's an interesting one because I don't know if we've ever done anything quite like this before mm. with two sets of neighbors mm-hmm. whose families were very close. And our listener, Jody, who's on the phone with us, is the mother of one family. Her house sadly burned down years ago, so they had to so move crazy. away yeah. 45 yeah. minutes from where they originally lived. But shortly after, they lost all contact with this other family who used to basically be their best friends. And it's not like yeah. you moved yeah. even to a different state. You're like 45 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that not that dramatic. So, I don't know. I'd say when my parents only lived 45 minutes away, I never saw them. Because yeah. yeah. I knew they were only 45 minutes away. But it's been very confusing for Jody because she doesn't know why they cut off all contact yeah. and wants some closure, hence the term closure call. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Wow. God, you we were really built are. for this, Jody. We're the best really? in the biz. And, Jody, I know you want to get to the answers. We're going to get those in just a second. Brooke, do you have any final thoughts? No, I think it's just interesting. You know, you said these people were really there for you after your house fire. So, I mean, I could see them turning their back on you if you needed help, but that mm. that's not even the case here. You know, know. They, they did that for you, it sounds like, right? Yeah, they were great. Mm. So strange. Well, if your new house burns down, you can always live in the basement of Brooks' current. Oh, mansion. sure. 
My husband works down there, so just don't mind him. Okay? We'll always have a backup yeah. here. All right, so let's get to the first question. Okay. We wrote, it's been almost five years since we spoke to each other. That's so long. And I've tried to text you and send you letters and birthday invites, but you never responded. Our friendship was so important to me. Mm. It makes me so sad that we don't speak anymore. Yeah. Do you even still live at the same house? Wait. Don't we know that because you did the secret drive-by? I mean, that was three years ago, though. So, I mean, she could have moved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. So, the Coopers responded, and they said, Hi, Jody. Nice to hear from you. Yes, we're still at the same address. Mm. Kids are getting bigger. Hope you are well. Oh. Wow. Okay. Why do I take that as shade? Yeah. I don't know. That didn't feel good. It did feel like when you get the text K back. Yeah. You know, it felt the same. I'm just being acknowledged, but I'm not really. How do you feel? How do you feel about that answer, (laughs) Jody? Exactly. Well, I mean, it it doesn't really say much. I was saying I felt so sad that we weren't in touch anymore, and they gave me like a one sentence, yeah. nothing response. You know, yeah, it's like I like they're how, trying to blow you off. I like how you were saying you were so sad in the question, and she's like, "Glad you're well." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, not much of a response did, on that first uh, one, but it, good thing we asked more questions. So to they make them did open up more because they did respond to the rest of the questions. Yeah, and this isn't an auto reply; they're all different. <laughs> just so you know, that'd be okay. so funny. Just like she said, I am. Out of the office right now. <laughs> yeah. Do we know who's actually writing us? Is it the other mother from the other family? I, I don't know. It doesn't say on okay. here. Okay. All right. Let's keep going to question two. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more clarification. We said, after being so close for so long, it's always been confusing to me why you stopped responding to mm-hmm. us. I've spent nights trying to figure this out. Mm. I'm not sure if something happened or what changed. Is there a reason you cut us wow, out? This is only the second question. That's like the question in my head. I'm so interested to see how they're going to respond. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. This is the crux of what we're trying to get to yeah. here. And you and our producer wrote that question really well. <laughs> I'm serious. Because he helps her with all of this. Oh, I, th- right. I think it's really well written. Yeah. I mean, it's I don't right know why you point. laughed. No, <laughs> I'm just being funny. serious. It's funny because our producer's a funny guy, so I thought you were making a joke. No. Right. So let's get to the answer that they wrote back for the reason that they cut you out. They wrote, well, it's pretty simple, Jody. Oh. We donated $2,000 to your family's GoFundMe with the expectation it would go towards building your life back. Oh. Not building your chest size. <gasps> What? Apparently, one of the neighbors said you got a breast enhancement after your house burned down. Oh. Plus, your family took a trip to the Bahamas. So oh. I think oh. you could understand why we're not speaking, dot, dot, dot. That looks so bad. Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Um, look, this is what I can say about that. I oh was going through a God. lot at the time. Yeah. And... Doing that made me feel better about myself, and it did help me build my life back. It gave me confidence. You use the GoFundMe money to do a breast hey, enhancement? Hey, you can do monthly payments. Maybe she didn't do it all at once. <laughs> like, I mean, you wait, what did, about the Jody? Mo- I, I don't, I don't really want to like get into this. Really, like. I- but that's know. the whole that's the whole reason she's not Wait, talking what about to you. The trip they... to the Bahamas. Are we gonna ignore that? Yeah, that's like <laughs> probably more expensive. Well, you gotta show off your new boobs I mean, somewhere. That's true. And if it's cold out. <laughs> the Coopers are accusing you of taking the money that they gave you to like rebuild your new life and your new house for personal things. Well, and not just them, I bet. I mean, if it's a GoFundMe, probably other people's yeah. money too. Neighbors, yeah. We used a majority of the GoFundMe to get our new house. Well, yeah. (laughs) Wouldn't you use the insurance money to get a new house? That went into it. It was very expensive. Getting a new, I mean, we literally lost every single thing. Yeah. It's like we did deserve a trip to, like, my kids were so devastated. Man. If it makes you smile and makes you happy, I guess it's worth. What did stuff. we ask after this? Because we had no yeah, idea she was going to say out of that. Time. We need to move on to question three. Here. You know, I honestly don't think we need to. I think, like, I'm uh, think it's well, good. Okay, in I'm, my head, I thought the same, Jeff. I was like, I don't know if we should be on the phone anymore. Sorry, Jeff, but this is how it works. We go through all four, so no, I'm just going to go to the third just question two more here. Questions. Let's finish the no, segment for everybody listening that said. tuned in. It says question three. I'm not sure if you heard, but I left my 9-to-5 job, and I'm now working with a charity to help raise money to support teachers around the country. You've always been so generous, I'm hoping you'd consider contributing to Wait, it. what? Wait, that you is not her for our money? third question. Are you no. joking, Jody? I'm, I just, Jody? 
Yeah, but that is my job now, and I didn't know that she was going to say what she just oh, said. Oh, the worst timing oh, ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> Girl. Well. You th- used our show to fundraise? No. I was just trying to give them an update on my life and what I was doing. Oh, okay. no. This looks so oh, bad. Okay. I mean, working with charity is a really good noble yeah. cause if it actually does go to the charity. Maybe it's sending <laughs> teachers to the Bahamas. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're getting them surgery. <laughs> well, let's hear what the Coopers oh. wrote back to that. <laughs> Ask for oh, money Jody. for your charity. They said, as stated before, <laughs> I hope you're well. Yeah. Oh, but no, no we it. will not be contributing to your, quote, charity or any future yeah. endeavors. Oh, now they, we oh. see why the first I hope you're well felt bad. And now Ooh. I understand why you didn't want us to read question three. Wait, yeah. they put charity in quotes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done yet? We're almost done. We have to do oh. the fourth and final question that do you we sent to them. To? We do oh. have to. Okay. We wrote, it's been way too long and we miss you guys so much. Oh. We'd love to get together sometime God. and reconnect the families. Hey. This all feels so awkward <laughs> after we know what we know. I'll meet you in the Caribbean. We said, do you think you'd be up for it? And uh, the let's, Coopers let's wrote guess. back, as stated multiple times oh. before, I hope you are well. Oh. This is, yeah, being left on red. Ah, uh, yikes. All right, thank you. Oh. Is that it? That's it, Jody. Joe, do you feel like you got some uh, closure yeah, from that? You I, did- I want to hang up. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. I just, I <laughs> yeah. wouldn't try to hit up the Coopers anymore. Yeah, I just, yeah, make some new friends. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no more GoFundMes for a while. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I'm sure they'd like to see a Christmas card of you and, like, what all that money went to it, so maybe that would be kind of nice. <laughs> That's not funny, Jeff. But, okay, I mean, anyway, it's kind of funny. I think but... it's funny. Anyway, hopefully that helped you <laughs> Sorry, out, Jody. Jody. That's your closure oh. call. Oh, Yikes. Man. Not all closure's good closure. <laughs> it's yeah. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Allstate wants to remind fans that mayhem is everywhere, like when the tailgate party shows up at your house after the big win. Everything's great until the hot plate gets too hot for the tablecloth. Now your kitchen's up in smoke. And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, the cost to fix this could sideline your savings. So switch to Allstate, save money, and get protected from mayhem like this. Not available in every state based on coverage selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Ready to celebrate International Women's Day? M&M's and iHeart present Women Take the Mic, sharing empowering stories of women supporting and celebrating each other. And of course, there is a smooth and creamy companion for your listening pleasure, peanut butter M&M's, because they're just another way to help treat yourself in situations where you deserve a little added delight, like listening to your favorite podcast. So savor the deliciousness of peanut butter M&M's and spread some positivity. From breaking glass ceilings to dominating in sports and entertainment, women truly are unstoppable. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Introducing Uber Teen Accounts, an Uber account for your teen with always-on enhanced safety features. Your teen can request a ride when you can't take them. You'll get real-time notifications along the way. Your teen can feel a sense of independence. You can follow their entire route on a live tracking map. Your teen will get assigned the top-rated drivers. Thank you. You will get peace of mind. Add your teen to your Uber account today. Available in select locations. See app for details.